Welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to create an alert in Grafana. Let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Grafana, I need you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Creating an alert in Grafana allows you to monitor specific conditions and get notified when certain thresholds are met. But you also have to know that alerts help in identifying issues before they escalate into major problems. And of course, by being notified of anomalies or thresholds being breached, you can address issues proactively. It is very crucial and important for maintaining the health, performance, and reliability of systems and applications. Now, once you are here on the Grafana interface, I need you to hover to the left side panel where you can see the bell icon that says alerts and IRM. All right. Now, I'm going to click on the uh, alerting. You see, here you can define the condition that must be met before an alert rule fires. All right. We're going to have a sep separate videos for all of these um, sections, but for now, we're focusing on the alert. And by that, I need you to click the Manage Alert Rules. All right, you see, you can uh, determine whether an alert will fire when. Of course, you have an option here in the uh, Search by Data Sources, Grafana Clouds, Graphite, Logs, Prom, or other sources such as Alert State History, Usage Insight, and Grafana Usage. I'm going to click on the Grafana um, State History. Now on the dashboard, you can select the alert when will it um when and where it will be sent. For example, on the dashboard, is it gonna be under billing usage, cardinality management, on call insights, or usage insights? So depending on your dashboard, if you have multiple dashboards, you might wanna make sure that you select the correct dashboard. In my case, I'm gonna choose the dashboards on call and insights. Now you see, you can have a state of firing normal pending. All right i'm gonna click on the uh state i'm not gonna call in the firing for now i'm gonna select firing and rule type is it gonna be alert or recording of course i'm gonna click on the alert and for the health i would say maybe um error because that's the reason why alerts are here all right to ensure that systems and applications are operating within expected parameters and catch deviations early all right now on the search just leave it alone on the plugin rules though it's up to you if you wanted to hide the show but i leave it as it is like show and for the view as um i prefer it to group not list but it's up to your personal preferences all right in state i'm not gonna deal with that just click on grouped now you see when you haven't created any alerts yet you might want to click on this option new alert rule just click on that and here basically we can give the alert rule name here for example that's going to be andy guide and you can define and query alert conditions within you have an options here like 10 minutes to now max data points like 40 3 200 so these are all highly customizable depending on your preferences of course you can put in any value like maybe uh 20 seconds or 10 seconds maybe like five that's okay now for the max data points you might as well as put in something like like 40 40 40 000. okay i believe that's it now you can click on the kick your start query if you wanted there's an option that says rate query starters you can use this query or you can rate the ensemble with an average all right so i'm gonna choose the use this query for now there's an option also on the bottom where it says histogram query starters now, if you're not familiar yet with, you're not yet familiar with the uh, Grafana dashboard, you might want to leave that for now. In terms of the binary query starters, you can simply use this query, right? Now, after doing so, you can click on the apply query and click on close. Now, there's a more option here where I, I leave it like um, click on explain. I leave it like that. I always select the metric as metric explorer. When you click on that, you can have more options here. If you are if you have more advanced expertise in the uh, Grafana analytics, you might want to click on the additional settings so you can include description in search. 
disable text wrap or enable reject search all right you can also put in the results per page i'm gonna put it i'm gonna limit it around 20 for now okay and click on x all right now on the label you see there's no um option here you can put in equal sign equal greater side or uh, exclamation point you can also search some values right here now after doing so if you're not yet uh, certain what what are these um options we're going to deal with that in a separate video this is a very advanced and more technical side of grafana for creating alerts but the thing is this is very important for uh, tracking user usage trends and get alerts with nearing capacity limits helping with future planning and scaling decisions all right because uh, these alerts can notify you of potential failures or performance degradation helping to minimize downtime and maintain high availability all right now in the operator you can put in plus and the vector matches as ignoring okay this is my preference so you can of course choose depending on your um alerts that you want to trigger automated responses or scripts to handle certain conditions without any manual intervention in in the alerts that you wanted now for the rule type normally i use uh this one grafana manage but if you if you choose the data source manage you see there's a lot more configuration options that you need to work to because you need to man monitor and manage resource usage for like a memory um, space to prevent performance bottlenecks you can also add annotations for example i'm gonna put in some text here and also put in some description all right now on the runbook url when you put the web page where you can pick uh, keep your runbook for the alert what will happen is you would receive real-time notifications about critical metrics and events providing immediate awareness and enabling quicker responses you can also track the history of alerts to analyze trends and patterns over time which can be useful for analysis once you're happy with it just click on save rule and exit all right and of course you need to choose the space of this one and this one now if you get if you encounter any problems along the way creating an alert here in grafana you might want to go here at grafana customer support service and from here just select the option that you wanted help and that's going to be your uh grafana cloud all right or grafana interface your email your phone number your company and of course your concern all right because you're encountering any problems creating an alert in grafana and the one of the support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix the issues of having problems creating an alert rule in grafana that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one